eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire. What's going on YouTube family? Welcome to vlog number seven, doing a commentary for you guys over a chest and tricep workout that was filmed about a week ago. Uh, I've done two more workouts uh, after this one, so I'm going to kind of commentate and kind of think back of how I was feeling and what was going on. So um, this was a very late night workout. I believe this workout was like, I want to say like 11 to 1230 uh, in the morning, you know, or like PM and then you know 12 AM. So uh, extremely late, definitely not used to working out this late. Uh, warming up with some tricep pushdowns here and moved on to some bench press, which you might have seen a few clips of my benching in the last video, but I uh, put 315 on for, uh, I was going for two and only got one. I believe that's partially because of the timing, you know, I, I noticed that if I work out early, early in the morning or late, late at night, I'm, my strength and mind, usually I'm just not in it. Uh, I like working out kind of midday to after, you know, afternoon, evening time. So that's kind of where I perform optimally. And there's no way to say, you know, X person works out best at this time. It's all experimentation, guys. You have to see when you feel the best, when you feel the strongest. Do you feel better fasted or do you feel better with three or four meals in you? Uh, do you feel better with you know half your calories, three-fourths of your calories? And you just kind of have to mess around with it. Uh, do you like eating an hour before workout, two hours or three hours before workout, or even 30 minutes taking a little snack? You know, It's all personal preference and only you can decide when you perform optimally. But um, because of that bench, I've been having kind of off sessions and – Keep in mind, my body weight is only 168 to 170 right now, kind of fluctuating. So as my weight increases, which it will um, over time, my bench and all my lifts are going to keep getting stronger. I notice when I'm like 177 to 180, I feel like when I'm holding heavy weight, if I'm holding 315 or if I have, you know, uh, just lots of weight on my back or doing, uh, you know, rack pulls or anything, I just feel so much stronger and supported my joints feel like they're lubricated because i have more fat on my body um, if i'm squatting you know i feel like i have more cushion on my knees and my knees don't hurt as much uh, so as the weight comes on the numbers are going to be going up but um, also going to be decreasing the weight on the bench and working kind of with about 250 pounds 240 245 to 260 kind of in that range getting more volume in more reps and uh, going to get that strength back up but as far as aesthetic like training on my you know, chest and triceps is the workout I'm doing right now. I am emphasizing my upper chest, so I've been doing about three working sets on the flat bench just to kind of get my strength up, but I'm giving more emphasis to my incline, uh, incline dumbbell, incline barbell, so I picked up a few new benches for my CG Fitness Gym, which I normally work out at, but um, again, I said late night here, but i uh, going to emphasize that incline upper chest, so stay tuned for that. Online personal training and coaching and uh, apparel, ChristianUseMind.com. Thank you and stay tuned. Guys, so I contacted the owner of Brute Belt. I saw Brandon Campbell post a picture with this belt, and uh, I felt like this would be an amazing addition to the gym. So I contacted him, and he was nice enough to send us over one for the CG Fitness Gym. So this is a Brute Belt, guys. Uh, gonna try it out for the very first time today. I've already like tried it on, but I haven't actually done an exercise with it. So how it goes, you go like this. That strap is like additional, but you go here, tied in through here, and this is just a weighted belt. So for like weighted pull-ups, for uh weighted dips and any weighted body weight exercise you want to do. Tighten it up to your liking, right there. Now what this is made for guys is you unclip this right here. You actually slide the weight through here. So instead of having one where you're like, you're dangling the weight and you're kind of wobbling to uh, keep it on, this is nice, you can literally just slide the weight on. Today I'm gonna to use a 35 pounder. Gym's a mess right now, please excuse it, gotta clean it up. But 35 pounders, so you guys come, you just literally go here, you hook this on over here, and instead of wobbling, you literally just feel like, because this is so supported, you feel like you're not even holding the weight. So, I'm gonna do a set real quick. For the last few weeks, I've just been doing body weights. This is my first time I've been weighed in a while. Guys, take it off. I guess you can just put it back up here. Slide this. And done. So, 
gonna finish up this workout. Brutebelt.com, I'm gonna link them in the description box. Check it out if you're interested. About to edit a video over here, but I'm um, gonna have some dinner. Got back from the gym, absolutely starving. Uh, if you guys can see under here, it's some leftover lean ground beef with some of this tomato pasta sauce, roasted garlic. It's not gonna focus. Roasted garlic. Just gonna throw this in the microwave, which I know if you have patience, you can heat it up. Blah blah blah. But I'm really hungry, so right there, I'm gonna go like a minute there. And uh, wow, this is so like. Can you see it? all the moisture on here? Watch. But, um, turn the fan on. Got my pasta cooking up here, a whole bag of normal spaghetti. So that's gonna be dinner. I'll show you guys when it's done. That's round one. And round two is over there. And Nikki burned her eggs. <laughs> this is how you know you've been watching TV too long. We don't have lives. <laughs> Really quickly, I purchased some of these Nike like compression pants for under my shorts, and I've been wanting for a while, and I really like them. So today's the first day I'm rocking them. Also, thank you to Level Up for sending me this really nice T-shirt. Um, I really like the quality and the fit, so check them out, guys. But uh, update. 250 to 300 orders went out earlier today. Um, this is for the 40 hours of shipping. A good amount uh, went out earlier this week and then another few hundred are going out tomorrow and then the last remaining ones are going out on Monday. So uh, I'm just so happy everything's finally going out, everything's in stock and uh, getting out to you guys. So I apologize for that delay, but thank you for support and thank you for understanding. Uh, just extremely overwhelming and wasn't expecting it. So again, thank you guys. But what else, what else? Uh, I just uploaded my full day of eating earlier this morning and it's kind of funny because getting a lot of comments and uh, people, because I think I said, not sure like the exact, you know, direct quote, but that I'm having trouble gaining weight and um, I just want to clarify that it's not that it's trouble gaining weight. Um, if you want to gain weight, you know, simply add olive oil to your food or um, eat more dietary fat. But right now, I'm currently trying to lean gain, um, keep my fats not to a minimum, but controlled. So maybe 60 to 70 grams per day, maybe a little bit more, and keep my carbs really high. So by doing that, I've noticed if I consume large amounts of dietary fat, I kind of hold a lot of water. I gain weight really quickly and it's unwanted weight. So by keeping my carbs really high, I'm noticing that my weight's very consistent. I'm not holding onto a lot of water uh, and I feel great. So carbs are a little bit, about 600, maybe a little bit higher. Fats at about 70 to 75, like I said, 60 in that range, kind of depends on the day. And uh, protein's right at 190 to 200. <laughs> so you can see Nikki got her injury belt and she's wearing it casually in the house. Uh, <laughs> the white one. So this is actually a taper one, guys. I don't know if you guys can tell. Uh, I don't think any YouTubers that I've seen at least have this taper. It's thick, and then it gets small up here. So I feel like this is good if you have a shorter torso. Yeah. Yeah. It just because. Underneath my rib cage. Yeah. So it doesn't hurt a rib cage. So it's real thin, and it gets wider. So pretty cool. I'm kind of jealous of the white, but it is what it is. So.